In this video, we're going to talk about an amazing color palette that I put together, all centered around Sparkling Lake by Valspar. It's a little bit crooked, sorry about that. This is a paint color that was requested by one of our Patreon members. Thank you so much for being a Patreon member. We have exclusive content on there every single Sunday. And if you're a Prime member, you get a personalized mini color palette from me every three months. Link in the description down below. But for all of my beautiful YouTube subscribers watching, this is going to be an episode of Color Quickie on Sparkling Lake. So let's get right into it. So right off the bat, we can tell that this color is part of the blue color family. And in fact, Valspar does a great job at telling us that because you can see right there, it says blue family. You can also see on this website what the LRV of this paint color is. And that is one of the most important things that I recommend people look at when it comes to paint color. It stands for light reflectance value. And this is a percentage from zero to 100 of the light that a color reflects. So the higher that number, the lighter it will look in your home. 56.739, very specific Valspar. This puts Sparkling Lake in the upper half brightness wise of all paint colors. of have a lighter mid-tone color. And what that means to all of you is this is a color that probably won't feel too dark, but it also has quite a bit of saturation. It will be noticeable it doesn't feel like a pastel or an off-white definitely not that but I think that could be a good thing if you're looking for a color that has a bit of a presence to it has some richness without feeling too deep too dramatic too daunting in terms of what kind of blue this color is it is a little bit of an aquatic slightly greeny yellow undertoned blue has a touch of warmth to it, which I think is really nice. But overall, because it is part of that blue family, even though it has warmer undertones, it's still a cool color. I could see this being a perfect color choice if you're into a bit of a nautical vibe or coastal sort of theme. Maybe you want a bit of a spa color for your bathrooms. I think Sparkling Lake would be a wonderful choice in that regard. But even outside of that coastal sort of watery theme, you can incorporate this color in a number of different design styles, more so as a secondary color in select spaces. Because blues tend to make me feel tranquil and calm. I want to put a color like this in rooms where I want to feel tranquil and calm. Bathrooms is a great choice. Maybe bedrooms, even an office. If you tend to work better in a more chilled out atmosphere, this can be an awesome choice. I could also see it working as a cabinet or vanity color. Maybe your walls are extremely neutral and off white and you want something else to be a bit of a subtle accent color, nothing too out there. Another awesome option here. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, Color Quickie is not about one color, it's about six colors. I'm gonna give you two trim color options and three other colors that go really well with Sparkling Lake. And let's start with Crisp Cotton as the first trim color option. So this is going to be for anyone that's looking for an off-white, mainly for your baseboards and your doors and your frames, but really, anything else like your ceilings or even your walls, if you want to paint them a white paint color. I think crisp cotton brings a beautiful, lovely, airy warmth to this palette. And it's a very subtle warmth because it is pretty much white at the end of the day. 87 LRV on this paint color, which means it's really in that upper echelon of paint colors in terms of brightness and lightness. Sparkling lake on your walls, crisp cotton on your trim, match made in heaven. That is unless you're looking for a darker trim color option or maybe a door color for the inside that brings some depth and drama. Whale watching, not a very dramatic sounding name, pretty chill too, but this would be an awesome choice if you want a darker trim color that is not necessarily in the exact same color family as Sparkling Lake, but is still a neighbor. It's still a cooler color. It almost has a shaded dark denim gray blue color. Cool leaning, but not necessarily more of that greeny sort of aquatic feel that Sparkling Lake has. So this will give you some nice contrast in terms of the difference of darkness between the two, but also the hue itself, the coloration is just a little bit different, but still adjacent to one another. So I think it's a nice choice. All right, let's get to color pairings next. So these are three colors that you can use in the same space or in different rooms of your home. Just some options for you. If maybe you're not married to sparkling like throughout your home, you got four colors to work with. And I really tried to stick with a nautical theme for all of these colors, but for this first color, I couldn't really make it work. So we have Asiago, which of course is a beautiful cheese. Maybe on your private boat, you have an Asiago spinach dip or something that you love to munch on with your guests, then it works, right? What you're getting here is a light, warm, neutral color. You could say it is a grayish, so a beige with a little bit of gray to mute it. 
It has a 72 LRV, so quite a bit brighter than Sparkling Lake, but not bright enough where it'll feel like a white. That's Crisp Cotton's job, being your light trim color. This one is going to be dark enough so you'll actually see a nice difference between your trim and your walls, whether you're going with the light or the dark option. So a wonderful default choice if you're not quite sure what to do or what to put in any part of your home, this is a good just go-to neutral color that will just work. It'll kind of blend in, it'll not really do too much, just hang out in the background, which I think is a good thing. Our second color goes into a cooler direction, but still feels just as neutral. It's called Bay Waves. And as you can see, we're back on the water bandwagon name-wise, which I think is good. Now this is a color that feels kind of similar to Sparkling Lake because it is a cooler leaning semi-neutral color. Although this one doesn't really have a lot of that green happening. It doesn't even have a ton of the blue. It almost has this stormy gray feeling to it. It also has a 61 LRV, which puts it in a different category from all the other colors. Asiago was a bit lighter and of course Sparkling Lake a little bit darker. So this one is in between and it does feel like the closest thing to a gray in this whole palette. Another option for you if you want something lighter and passive, but not necessarily beigey either. And then the third color pairing is going to be the accent choice here. It's going to be the darkest color out of the pairings. It is called risk reward because sometimes when you're on a boat, it could be risky but the reward is almost always worth it. I tried, okay? <laughs> Off the dome, dude. Not my finest work. But as you can see, another color that has a little bit of blue and a little bit of green. When compared to Sparkling Lake, I think Risk Reward does feel a little more of a blue than a green in practicality. And it has obviously a lot of depth to it. What's nice is it does connect to all the other colors in really cool ways. Asiago, way more complimentary. Bay Waves, they have a little bit of a gray-blue connection. And then Sparkling Lake, blue-green. So everything sort of coexists together. And as you can see, when the color palette is all together, like right now, this is going to be more of a monochromatic feel. Not so much a back and forth between opposites on the color wheel. This one is for my bluey-green lovers out there. Hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you check out this video right now?